Welcome to the ElfQuest Collector's Guide. Good morning, guys. It's new comic book day, and it's the release of Final Quest number 18, and I've decided I'm going to vlog the day. So, here we go, guys. Have a good day, and I hope you enjoy mine. Okay, so first of all, I always get the new issues of Final Quest digitally on DarkHorseDigital.com. So, I haven't actually got my new copy yet. I'm about to buy it, and I'm about to read it. I usually get to read it the day before, because I know the trick. Um... But for some reason it wasn't working this time, so I had to wait, just like everybody else, until actual release day to read this issue. So, I haven't read it yet, I'm about to read it, and I'm going to record my reactions. So, here we go, guys. Well, guys, I was going to try to read it on my Kindle, but it's taking forever to download, so... I already have it pulled up here on my computer, and here we go, I'm about to read Final Quest issue number 18. Let's see what happens. I won't say anything, guys, just don't worry, I'm not going to let any spoilers out or anything like that. If you haven't read the issue for yourself, don't worry. I'm not going to tell you what happens in it. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing as I read it. <laughs> yeah, here we go, guys. I'm excited. Beautiful cover. Oh, just reading that beginning synopsis gave me chills, guys. Oh. Okay, now I was able to read those first four pages really quickly because those were actually the preview pages that were posted, I think, earlier this month. And uh, so I've already, actually already gotten to read these four pages. Now it's all going to be fresh material, so...
Excuse the chewy noises, guys. That's my family's pet hamster up there. <laughs> She's decided to wake up and chew on her cage. Her name is Salt, by the way. Almost character. Say hi to my son Tam. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. He's still kind of waking up and grumpy, but look at right there. Look at there's mommy and, and Tam. Can you say hi? Hi, everybody. This is Tam. Can you say hi? Chapter of the story. Oh, I'm bringing tears to my eyes, guys. It's beautiful. Oh, that was awesome. Now, I do usually try to read the uh, elf quotes. I will do that once I'm off camera so I can actually pay attention to what everybody's saying. Uh, I want to see what else is here. If it's just elf quotes, because sometimes I like to add little fun things at the end. And they did add some fun little things, not just the elf quotes. Again, I'm not going to say what it is because you guys can just wait and get your own issue. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so there we go, guys. That was my reactions to reading the new Final Quest issue. It's a great one. I highly recommend reading it. I mean, come on, it's Elf Quest Final Quest, so I'm sure you guys already know it should be read. But, uh, no, no. it was a good one. You guys could probably tell from my reactions, lots of uh, roller coaster emotions in this one, lots of happy moments, lots of sad moments, lots of, like, whoa, what the heck's going on? 
Good issue. Wendy, once again, you outdid yourself. This is beautiful, and I love it, and I hope everybody else loves it. Alright, so now, for the rest of the vlog, it's going to be my trip to the comic book shop. It's going to be my day. It's going to be, I'll do a small uh, introduction to my family. You guys got to meet Tam just a few minutes ago on my camera. And uh, previously, in one of my other videos, you got to meet my daughter, Lori. So, I'll do another full introduction. Uh, Lori is at school right now. So, once she gets out of school, that's when we will be leaving to go to the comic book shop. Now, some of you that follow me on Facebook and Twitter know that I live literally in the middle of the woods on the side of a mountain. Therefore, it takes me about an hour and a half just to drive to my nearest comic book shop. And I'm going to vlog that trip for you guys just to show you exactly how long it takes. But ElfQuest is well worth it, isn't it, guys? We all know that. We love our elf quests. These elves are way worth that much time to just go get a new issue of it. Even though I've already read the issue, I don't care. I'm going to make the drive to go get it, because I have to have it. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit later on in the vlog, and I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction video. Also, guys, we are coming up on a huge milestone for me on YouTube. We are at 97 subscribers as of right now. That means we're only three away from 100. That is huge. It's so exciting for me, guys. Um, I want to thank all of my subscribers, all of my viewers, uh, all of my friends and tribe mates on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's really encouraging to me. It really inspires me to just keep pushing, to keep make, making bigger and better videos. So... Thank you so much for all of the support. If it wasn't for you guys out there showing me the support, I wouldn't be doing this. So, thanks guys. Um, as I just said, we are almost to 100 subscribers. We're at 97 right now. If we can get those last three subscribers to get that count up to 100, I will give away a Redbubble t-shirt or just gift certificate. Um, I will have, in an upcoming video, I will start taking names. Don't enter yet, guys. Don't put your names down. Not yet. Not yet. Just wait. Um, once we reach the 100 subscriber count, I will post another video, and I will start asking for names for the giveaway. Just like my previous ones, comment below that video, not this video, if you would like to win. Uh, in another upcoming video, I will put all those names in a hat, just like I always do, pull out a winner. That winner will get to choose either a t-shirt from Redbubble, they will get to choose the design, the color, and the style, and the size, of course. Uh, or they can have a Redbubble gift certificate of equivalent price. Now, I can't afford to give away like a sweatshirt or anything big like that, but I can't afford to give away a t-shirt at this point, so that's what the next prize will be if we can get to that 100 subscriber count, guys. So let's get those three more. It's not going to take very much. Also, just as a, a small added bonus more for me than you guys, uh, once we reach the 100 subscriber count, I'll actually be able to alter my channel's URL to something hopefully a little bit easier to remember. Um, YouTube will offer me some selections to choose from. I won't get to actually choose the URL for myself, but I'm hoping to get something around the, the lines of YouTube backslash channel backslash Elf Quest Collector's Guide. Now, that's not solidified yet, guys. Don't go start typing that in yet. Um, give us some time. We've got to reach the 100 subscriber count, and then I'm going to have to change the URL. But uh, just want to give you guys a head up, heads up. If you have my channel bookmarked or anything, you might need to change that bookmark address here pretty soon once I reach that 100 subscriber count. So just keep an eye out for that, guys. If you've already subscribed, thank you so, so, so very much for being here. I really hope that you're enjoying my show. I hope you're enjoying these episodes. And I... I'm planning on improving even more. I'm planning on making more bigger videos. Uh, this is my first vlog, so I hope it's going okay. Um, and yeah, so just stay tuned. If you've already subscribed, please, if, if you feel like it, no, press, no pressure of course, but if you feel like it, please like and share my channel so that others can find me as well to help me get to that 100 subscriber count. Okay, guys? Alright, so let's get on with the rest of the vlog and the rest of my day. Hey guys, we're about to head out the door on the way to the comic book shop. Thought I'd introduce my husband, my life bait, and my nasty bad editor thing, Adam. Hey everybody. <laughs> Alright guys, as part of the vlog, I figured I'd show our drive there and how long it actually takes to get to the comic book shop. So, I'm going to set my camera in my car and I'm going to strap it down and I'm going to show you the drive. So, first of all, here I am and there's my car. So we'll see you there, guys!
folks, and we actually have to go pick up my daughter Lori from school first, so we'll be doing that before we stop in town, and then we'll be heading off to the comic book shop. And there's him in the background! Hi, Tam! And there's Adam. He's driving, so he can't look. I haven't got to the town where the comic book shop is yet. Grab some lunch and we're back on the go. We also had to switch cameras because our actual camera battery juice is kind of running low. And we wanted to save some for when we actually get to the comic shop. So we had to switch cameras so the footage might be a little bit different looking from here on out. But we're doing what we can, guys.
guys, I'm here. This is my comic shop. This is Iguana Comics. I love this place. This is where I come to get my Final Quest comics every single time. The owner's really, really awesome. Would you would you mind being on camera for a second? Here he is. There he is. Hi, everybody. Hi, ElfQuest fans. <laughs> Alright, guys, so here I am. Got my new issues, and I'm excited. I found Red Sonia. Nice. So my comic shop has a lot of pops. Pops! Lots of pops. Lots and lots of pops. There's pops on this side. There's pops on that side. Alright, back in the car and done at the comic book shop and on our way home. I, I'm so scared. Guys, I got lost in the woods. No, I'm just joking. My house is right over here. Here's my house. Right back there. Here's my house. Oof. And we're back. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so, when I left, it was only quarter after two in the afternoon. We just walked back in the door, and it is now 6.35. So, that's about standard. We stopped at one other place, took about 20 minutes, and uh, the rest of it was the trip to the comic book shop. So, that's about standard. It takes me about four hours to... Go to my comic shop, get my new Final Quest issues, head on home. So that's about standard. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make. It was a little bit of an adventure today. So uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, you guys got to meet my family. You got to see where I go to pick up my ElfQuest comics every time. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you keep watching. Uh, I hope to do more vlogs like this in the future. Oh, here comes someone you didn't get to meet yet. You guys didn't get to meet my bubby Chop Licker. Come here, buddy. Oh, this is Chop Licker. He lives up to his name, as you can see. He's Chop Licker, my new puppy. He's a good boy, and I love him. He's a good boy. Okay, come on. Watch out, pups. Watch out, puppy. Watch out. You're a good boy. I know. Oh, you're bumping stuff. Go on, Cutsoid. Go on. He's a bit of a clut, so he just bumped my camera. But uh, anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed this. This was my first vlog. You guys got to meet my family. You got to see the area I live in, which uh, I don't think many people have really got to see much of. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm hoping to do more vlogs like this in the future. Uh, got, I heard some great news from my comic book shop guy. Uh, first of all, they got a new location for their store, a bigger location. So next time I go to my comic sh book shop, it's going to be exciting because it'll be in a whole new place, bigger location, more stuff to check out. Um, he also told me while I was there that there are at least two or three other ElfQuest fans in the area because they have also started coming in for Final Quest. So, I want to know where you guys are. Where are the other uh, ElfQuest fans in my area? I'd love to meet you guys and let's hang out and geek out some time. Hope you enjoyed the show, everyone, and uh, until next time, Shade and Sweetwater, and happy hunting.